Okay, we're back, this time with a uh, problem. This, you probably cannot tell because I've got it, the separation kit here, is the Anytone. AT588 UV dual band cross band repeat mobile transceiver VHF UHF dual bander. Now, right now it's hooked up to a dummy load. As you can see right here, got an MFJ 269C dummy load with an MFJ. 873 dual band VHF UHF watt meter. Now, right now, the radio is set to FRS channel 1, 462.5625. We'll try some other frequencies in a second here. I just want to demonstrate the UHF side of the radio. This is on the 200 watt scale. doing about uh, 35 watts. Again, this is in a dummy load, so we're not we're not putting this out into the air. So we'll drop down to 270 centimeters, 446.0, and uh, that's a little closer to 40 watts. So let's do 432.0. Nice solid 40 watts. 420.0 45 watts maybe 42 and we'll go down to the bottom of the coverage here which is 400 even and that's back down to about 35 so the top coverage here I believe is 520 oh well let me do that let's try 500 490 Okay, so 490 is the top. It's 400 to 490. And that's, uh, let's see if we can do the 20 watt scale. That's about 15 watts. Well, that's on the 20 watt scale there. You can see 15 watts. So, power is not nearly as good um, once you get high above uh, 480 or so. That's 470 right there. So, I mean, anything you really are going to need to transmit on is, is, is you know, 467.7125. And that's right at 35 watts. So that's the UHF side. Radio works great on UHF, great receive. I can hear stuff on almost every FRS channel during the day on my base station antenna. But let's switch the VHF side, which is right now on MERS channel 4, we'll put it on MERS channel 1, 151.820, and we key the mic, right? Microphone's keyed, nothing. Drop it down to 5 watt scale, that's at full power setting now. The needle is not moving, only ever so slightly, not even getting close to the 100, the 100 milliwatt marker there. That was the DTMF burst function. So there's obviously something wrong with the VHF side of the radio here, because if I pop it back to UHF. Back to 200 watt scale. 35 watts. Just for fun, we're gonna see what the SWR on my dummy load is. It better be 1.1 to 1 as advertised. Wow, closer to 1.5. Okay, well that's still pretty good. So, the radio does fine on UHF, but the VHF side is putting out maybe a milliwatt, 
maybe 10 milliwatt, but probably not even 10 milliwatts. I feel like that would move the needle a little bit more on the 5 watt scale. The first line there representing 100 milliwatts, and it's barely moving. I mean, barely. So, in addition to this, the radio heats up extremely fast on, when transmitting on the VHF band, which leads me to believe there's a short circuit somewhere on the VHF side causing the RF to go back into the finals, which probably burned the finals out, making this radio more or less a tech special because I am not comfortable with my abilities, at least not at this point, to go inside the radio and start tinkering around. I haven't opened it up yet. I'm planning to at some point. There might be another video there, but I have done testing on VHF on the MERS and the 2 meter frequencies, both at high and low power. Um, and uh, the range on VHF is effectively nil. Um, it's less than a quarter of a mile, which is something you would expect with, you know, 49 megahertz walkie-talkies or something else that's putting out, you know, milliwatts of power, not watts of power. Definitely not 40, 50, 60 watts of power. So, this radio was purchased on eBay and um, was used mobile for both VHF and UHF with a resonant antenna system and then the uh, operator that I was speaking to on VHF started to complain about uh, signals getting cut off and um, me being cut out mid transmission and you know having to repeat transmissions and transmissions getting missed and then I noticed how rapidly the radio heated up and the fan on the back here that I know you can't see comes on. So the radio was mothballed and put in the in the closet and uh, forgotten about until recently when I got this watt meter. And part of the reasoning behind getting this watt meter was so I could take the next step in diagnosing the problem with this Anytone AT588UV dual band transceiver which it does appear that my fears have been confirmed that the VHF side is fried and is not working. So I'm not sure if it uses two sets of final transistors for VHF and UHF or how the radio is set up, but it works fine on UHF and does not work on VHF. It gets really, really hot really quick and that scares me, so I stop transmitting. So just a quick test, a demo here of the problems with this secondhand Anytone AT588UV dual band transceiver.